Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to set up your turntable. This is the 10th and final video in a series that will cover the entire process from start to finish. Feel free to share these videos with all your friends who are just getting into records. In this video specifically, we'll be talking about how to connect your turntable to the rest of your audio components, such as your amplifier and your speakers. Now, if you haven't watched the first nine videos, click this card above to start at the beginning. Also, to keep these videos organized, the thumbnail of every video will display their number. That way you can watch them in order. All right, now that we're done with everything, the final step is to connect our turntable to the rest of our setup. But before we do that, we have to understand the vinyl audio setup. Now, I made another video about this if you'd like to know how everything works in detail, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna give you the simple version. The basic vinyl audio setup has four important parts. First, we have the turntable, of course. Next, we have the preamplifier, or preamp for short. Third, we have the amplifier. And finally, we have the speakers. Now, it's very important to understand this basic setup before we continue. Turntable, preamp, amplifier, and speakers. Turn Turntable, preamp, amplifier, and speakers. Just keep saying that over and over, okay? Do you have it? All right. Let's go. Now, some turntables have the preamp built into them, but others don't. So it's very important to identify which type of turntable you have. If it has the preamp built in, then you won't need to buy one and your setup will be a little easier. Now, just like there are two different types of turntables, there are also two different types of speakers. Some speakers have the amplifier built into them, but others don't. So yet again, it's very important to identify which type of speakers you have. And there's actually a very simple way to do this. If you see the words active speakers anywhere, then those speakers have the amplifier built in. But if you see the words passive speakers written anywhere, then those speakers do not have the amplifier built in. So if you go with the active speakers, you won't need to buy an amplifier. And yet again, your setup will be a little easier. Now with everything we've just learned, let's review all the possible audio setups. First, the basic setup, turntable, preamp, amplifier, and speakers. Next, we got the easy setup, turntable with the built-in preamp, amplifier, and passive speakers. And finally, the easiest setup, turntable with a built-in preamp and active speakers with a built-in amplifier. Now you could say, but Jared, what about the all-in-one turntables that have the turntable, the preamp, amplifier, and speakers all built into one? Are those any good? No, they're not. Those are usually not the best systems because they're basically sacrificing quality for convenience. So I would not recommend you ever buy one of those ever. Like I said before, if you want to get the most out of your vinyl audio setup, you should buy the parts separately. Now, the very last thing you have to do is plug your turntable's audio cable into your next audio component, whether that's the preamp, the amplifier, or the speakers. You can do this by placing the white connection into the left channel and the red connection into the right channel. Then plug the AC power cord into the nearest electrical outlet and you are completely done. Congratulations on watching all these videos. Enjoy your new turntable and all of the great music that comes with it. And if you enjoyed this series, you should join Join the Vinylized community, give this video a thumbs up, and hit subscribe because I'm going to be coming out with a lot of great videos every Thursday and Saturday that you're not going to want to miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All the links are in the description below. And most importantly, friends, keep spinning that vinyl.